Today, we're talking about the difference between flood zones and flood ways, and what you need to know when it comes to purchasing flood insurance and maybe even purchasing a property in these areas. Hello, my name is Chris Green, president and owner of the Flood Insurance Guru. Today, we're talking about flood ways and flood zones. So let's talk about flood zones first. When we're talking about flood zones here, we're talking about the areas that's been designated by FEMA or the federal government that might be in a special flood hazard area. These are areas that they think have a higher risk of flooding or maybe areas that have been identified as a lower risk of flooding. These are areas that have been mapped. Sometimes these areas are called special flood hazard areas and non-special flood hazard areas. We're talking about flood zones A, flood zone V, and maybe flood zone X. Now, when it comes to flood zone A and V, if you have a mortgage, flood insurance is generally gonna be required in these areas. These are gonna be 1% annual chance of flooding areas. V is going to be your coastal flooding area where a different type of flooding could occur. Flood zone X is gonna be what's called minimum risk, lower risk, but don't let this catch you off guard. It's still recommended to purchase flood insurance in these areas because 30% of flooding that happens in the US happens in flood zone X. Now that we know the different flood zones there, let's talk about flood ways. Now, floodways are like you can see right here behind me. These are kind of your central channel, uh, just the kind of overflow area of the flood source, like right here on this lake. Right here on this edge here is gonna be what's considered a floodway up to a certain level. Now, building in floodways is much more strict. Flood insurance and floodways generally is going to be much more expensive. One reason is that many private companies do not want to insure properties that are floodways because the risk is much higher. Even the National Flood Insurance Program now is using floodways in their rating models because they're using distance to water as a rating factor as you can see right here we're much closer to the water so of course it's going to make your insurance higher so that's the difference between flood zones and flood ways that's important to understand that your lender's not necessarily going to require or not require flood insurance if you're in a flood way they're going to require it if you're in something like a flood zone a or flood zone v so remember that you could still be in one of these flood zones and still be in a flood way but you want to try to avoid this floodway because of strict restrictions that gets building and maybe adding on to a building and the different flood insurance options. If you want to learn the difference between the different flood zones, click up here in the corner. We've got some different videos there for you. My name's Chris Green, president and owner of the Flood Insurance Guru, and I want to say thank you for tuning in today's video on the difference between flood zones and floodways.